Hello everyone, my name is Maria and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this is just a video, no shit Sherlock. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you everything I've watched recently. Uh, yes, so without further ado, let's get on with the video. So the fil first film I'm going to be talking about is Nimona. Uh, one of the latest uh, films, animated films in Netflix. I gave this film a 7 out of 10. I really, really enjoyed this film. It is very funny and I loved the aesthetic and the mixture of punk rock and medieval look. It was just very, very original. I've never seen something like it. And of course the story was kind of predictable and the big message was very obvious. But that didn't stop the film from being enjoyable because sometimes things can be predictable in how they end but not necessarily on how they get there and it's just an overall endearing and beautiful if you're feeling depressed if you're feeling sad or anxious or something like that uh, i recommend you watching this film to cheer you up we'll go. next film uh red white and royal blue i actually started the book and got like 30 percent into the book and i was really enjoying it that i really 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 got the urge to watch the film i have to appreciate some of the resources they used in order to keep the texting bits interesting which is basically the first half of the film especially this uh, surrealist kind of conversation they have at some moment where it's like they're laying next to each other and they're talking through text but actually they don't look like they're talking i don't know it's kind of cool so generally speaking it is a fun film and i liked it but honestly i prefer the book because it managed to explore better some themes and aspects and i know i didn't finish the book i know i'm guilty but at least in the first half on how things turn out i preferred the book and also they removed one character from the book that i just thought it could have been a great addition so instead of simply removing alex's sister june i think that they could have have like mixed mixed her with nora to emphasize their closeness like alex's with her sisters and the scene of alex realizing his bisexuality could have been more tender so yeah i don't know why they removed june i actually really really liked her i liked more the coming out part in the book than i did in the film but also very endearing film kind of cute yeah five, five out of ten the next film uh white chicks <laughs> this is a cult favorite and i'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this but i've never been a very big fan of the movie and of course i had somewhat of a good time there were some funny jokes but i don't know for me some of the gags just get old quickly there were some pretty funny scenes and of course some of the lines are just meme worthy i actually did like the costumes in the film it had many iconic fashion uh, from the early 2000s and overall it looked great and honestly the concept of the film is pretty original so that also that's also something i really liked but overall my score of the film is four stars out of ten please don't hate me for this but it's just not my type of humor and i feel like that's fine next film uh the big short oh my god this film got an 8 out of 10 for me so wow this is the type of film that i think of when someone tells me think of a good film the editing is gold it makes the film feel so much more dynamic and being basically an economics dictionary masterclass for dummies it manages to maintain the attention of everyone who is watching it doesn't matter if you're an economic genius or a complete ignorant like myself but it makes all of the hard facts that have to be explained uh, sound interesting 
by breaking the fourth wall with easy explanations with either fa other famous celebrities that don't have any relevance in the story or the main characters. Keeping everything dynamic and fun, which is honestly very hard. Obviously the casting made this film even better because it is based on a real life event and it is so fun to see side notes um, or sometimes uh, breaking the fourth wall or with titles on how things happened in real life and that they also changed some of the events on how they actually happened but they tell you that they changed them in order to fit the story like literally tell you oh this this and this didn't happen this way but it is more interesting this way uh, and it is very funny very goofy I love that just a fantastic film all overall and surprisingly funny next film I watched was Ink Heart. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I watched this. Uh, I just showed up in uh, HBO Max and I thought, why not? Uh, I gave this film a 5 out of 10. I bet you didn't even know this film existed. It reminded me of The Secret of Munaker, also a film that nobody knows. I felt drawn to it because of how innocent and magical but, but mostly kind of childish uh, the movie felt in a good way and when I say childish I don't mean it as an insult but it has this feeling of when you were a kid and just played and got transported into your own fantasy world so yeah the acting could be better and we have this real fake look in things but surprisingly the special effects were actually quite good for a movie of this type in 2008. This film is just fun and has a very cool concept and has some ideas that are explored that are kind of too deep for it to make a real impact but an interesting dynamic sometimes. Uh, next film is Almost Famous. I gave this film a 7 out of 10. I really enjoyed this film. This is a very interesting coming of age film and the premise is very cool. The styling throughout was just fantastic as it captured perfectly not only the general look of the 70s but the reality of being a rock star in that time. There's something so nostalgic about the main character, William, where he's just 15, touring as a journalist and accidentally fooling Rolling Stone magazine into working with him. And when I mention this nostalgic feeling, it's just not because I necessarily lived during this period, because I didn't, but because of how he slowly starts to see reality and not his idolized version of how things should be and how he struggles to find balance between who he is and what he wants in the real world. Uh, the music is very good, it truly sounds like a band in the 70s and not some kind, some knockoff version. The acting and the casting was great as it reflected how things were in the world. Just had so much fun watching this. The next film is Pleasure. I gave this film an 8 out of 10. Oh boy, this one left me speechless. Not only because it is a beautiful shot film, but because it is a debut film of Ninja Thyberg and it blew me away. As I said, the photography in the movie is just great. There are so many shots that are nothing but beautiful. The costume design is fantastic, it really captures each character perfectly and it manages to say everything about who each and every one of them is. And it also captures and embodies the inner transformation of each of them. The film is about the porn industry, specifically in the USA, but it also manages to keep everything very grounded. And I love the perspective the film took over how it is viewed and the life of an aspiring porn star. The film doesn't feel objectifying and voyeuristic 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 most of the time as it tries to show the good side of the industry and how no matter the job it can be respectful and ethically done in the other hand it also shows the side that is humiliating and who takes advantage of people with a very charismatic facade that 
in reality it's just abusing the vulnerability of people especially young women who are looking to make it big in the business also i loved the end because it is hardly an end and it leaves more questions than answers but at the same time you get it of course look up trigger warnings before watching this film as it can get pretty graphic sometimes and finally the last film i watched uh ladybug and cat noir the movie <laughs> i give this film a 6 out of 10. Uh, well to be honest this rating is completely biased as i love the show and if you're a fan too then you would probably like it and if you're not a fan but you're curious about what the show is about then the film is basically a recap on the series i was surprised to learn it's actually a musical film but I like musicals, so it didn't bother me too much. Although there were times where songs were a little too close to each other. But yeah, uh, the English dub was pretty good. The singing voices were very nice, very good singers. I was surprised because it is technically a kid's movie. And sometimes with this type of films that are films based on TV shows for kids, they don't actually care a lot about the performance. The animation is also surprisingly good and not just any generic 3D animation. It actually has some personality to it, so I like that. So yeah, uh, I hope you liked this recap on what I watched recently. Um, if you did, leave it a like, subscribe, uh, comment if you want me to talk about any specific film you're interested in. I will probably try and do more of these because they're fun and maybe change it up a bit. But you tell me what do you think about the video. Did you like it? Please, if you did, leave it a like. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have a lot of uh, film related videos planned for you as you know sometimes I, I cannot manage to publish and edit and film I did the whole process backwards well as quickly as I would like so yeah I currently planning on editing and scripting videos relating to film um, for you guys and if you're interested yeah subscribe and I hope to see you soon and that's the end of the video so thank you for watching and bye.